Hey, Bob the Spider Hunter here. Ah, there you can probably hear me better. I'm out here uh, walking on Riley Trails in uh, West Michigan. And uh, hey, there's a snow crab I found right up here. Look at this one. Here, look at this cool snow crab. Here he is. Oh, it's just David. He's not a snow crab. <laughs> so David and I are going to be uh, wandering around out here. It's cold this morning. I don't know. What did you say the temperature was, Dave? 15. 15. That's cold. I'm cold. Yeah, so the car said 15 and it's cold. I can f put my I need to put my glove back on because my hands are already frozen to my camera. <laughs> anyway, let's see what we can find out here other than just snow. I don't think I'll find many spiders. Well, which way do we go? Which way do we go? I took the path less traveled. Hi, Bob the Spider Hunter here. This morning I'm out on a search and rescue mission <laughs> about a half hour from my house in uh, Holland area to Grand Haven. Uh, to visit a basement of a uh, person who asked me to help him uh, remove a spider from their house. So that's what we're off to doing this morning. We'll see uh, how this adventure uh, unfolds. So stay tuned. I'm going to focus now on driving. I had to stop along the way for a uh, French cooler and a nice warm latte. Mmm, <laughs> that is good. All right. Back on the road. Well, we've arrived. Let's see what the adventure holds for us. Ah. You gotta keep the coffee with me. <laughs> and here we are. Hello, how are you? <laughs> well, let's see what the basement holds. We're looking for a spider and hopefully we can retrieve it um, and take it out of the household here. All right, here. it's down the basement we go. Yeah, search and rescue. All right, and here we are in the workroom area. Ah, and I see the web right there by the uh, saw. Look at there. Wow, somebody's been a busy, busy spider. Look at there. All right. Now this old girl's got her webbing all over the place, all over the saw. And she's got drag threads that go way over to the workbench over there and so we're just gonna have to search around here so here's our web uh, very very soft thin webbing um, not sticky all right let's uh, let's begin our look here see if we can locate this girl this web is about only about let's say a week old maybe because they used the saw just in the, in the last uh, week and a half here so uh, fairly new web, pretty extensive size web. So it'd uh, be fun to find out if we can find the girl here and uh, get her out of here and bring her other places. Mm hmm. Here's one of the culprits right here. Just a small little cellar spider. She's got me doing so many honeydews, I need eight legs. <laughs> Cute. Now this is interesting here. This is some pretty strong webbing here, this yellow. You see that? This is almost um, what I would consider an egg sack webbing. Very, very strong. And it's connected to all kinds of stuff down here. It looks like it was at one point in time an egg sack that has already hatched out. See if 
we can see if we can dig in here a little bit. Aha! There is the egg sack. See that right there? That big yellow thing. That's our egg sack. Wow, that's a nice size egg sack. And I can't tell if we've had any hatchlings coming out of there or not. Sorry for the banging. The homeowner's doing some improvements upstairs. <laughs> Alright, let's take that egg sack out of there first. But before I do that, we have some little spiderlings that have already made their way out and are on some of this webbing, but they're so tiny, the homeowners didn't even see them. But let's, let me show you some of those little guys. Give you a little perspective. There's my finger. To the size of this little little spiderling. One of many that I'm sure are roaming all over the area. Here's another one. If you like spiders, they're cute little guys. Not not everybody likes spiders, that's for sure. So, the good news is we found the egg sack. The bad news is, <laughs> looks like these little guys have already been hatching. And since we have more than one baby, I'm gonna say this egg is already hatched. And they're probably all over the place already. But we'll take a look at the egg just to make sure. And I can tell this is already an empty egg sack here because it's already dropping the little molt, molting uh, pieces of most of the babies that have already left this egg sack. But this is an empty egg sack and uh, <laughs> all the babies we're finding were from here. I just wanted to show you how strong this egg sack material that the spider uses to make its egg encasement really is. Um, this is a strand of it here and it is, I mean I'm tugging at it here pretty hard and that's what the spider uses to make its egg encasement to protect it not only from the elements but also from predators. Keeps it safe and protected uh, until it's time for those babies to hatch. All right, let's give the bad news to the upstairs pokes of this basement dwelling. <laughs> okay, the brave homeowners have come down the basement, and uh, here's one right over here. That's the missus, and there's, there's the husband. Now, what we have here going on, I'll explain this to you. This is the egg sack that I've recovered. Uh, the egg sack contained anywhere up to uh, 75 to 150 babies. But you know, the most interesting part of this whole mystery is this. 
when I explained to them uh, about the spiders and the spiderlings and uh, there was one thing I just couldn't quite figure out how did that outdoor orb weaving spider make it into their basement to lay her egg and the uh, uh, the woman of the house looked over to the man of the house and said hey weren't you working out outdoor summer all summer with your sawhorses out in the yard yeah and uh, when did you bring those in uh it was in the fall of the year, yeah, before the snow flew. <laughs> well, that explains the mystery. Mama Orb Weaver laid her egg in the base of the sawhorse, and then husband brought it into the house and put it down the basement for the winter. Come spring, spiderlings, mystery solved. <laughs> <laughs> what a funny Sherlock Holmes adventure this has been. Let's finish the video. <laughs> well, I just learned something funny here. Uh, the, the homeowner, uh, the male of the house, <laughs> had this uh, these workbenches outdoors working on projects out there. And sometime during the fall, uh, the mother, Spider, laid her egg in here. And he he brought it in here and <laughs> camped it in the basement and now we have a couple hundred babies roaming around the basement area. Anyway, so I have nothing to rescue or bring outside except an empty egg cast. Well, time to head home. I had a lot of fun and some good laughs. You never know what you're going to find uh, in somebody's basement. I was surprised to find that particular spider species in a basement and the story behind it made it all sensible to me <laughs> well anyway have yourself a great day i'm gonna get home and get some things done uh, it's saturday and i got some some honeydew things to do take care and thanks for watching bye now